Okay, so you've decided you wanna get a pool table, but you're not too sure whether it will fit into the amount of space that you've got. So in this video, we're gonna talk you through how to measure your room to make sure you've got enough space to fit a pool table in. So um, let's just talk you through what you need. First of all, you need to have tape measure, absolutely essential, you need to have one of those. And you need to know what the playing surface measurement size is of the table you're thinking about buying. So what we've done in our showroom here, we've set up in the corner, we've got a beautiful Emperor uh, pool dining table set up over here. Uh, and we've tried to make it look like a bit of a room uh, as you might be trying to fit it into your own home. Um, and uh, it, this is a seven foot size table. So uh, what we tend to do is to convert for measuring for your space into centimeters. It's a bit easier to measure. Um, and um, I certainly prefer to work in centimetres. So um, in terms of the playing surface on here, so it's six foot by three foot, but in, uh, in centimetres, it's 183 by 91. And the important thing to do for each individual table you're looking at, because some can be a little bit different, is just make sure you've checked our website and look to see what it says the play field size is. That's the essential thing to be checking first of all. Uh, and then you can start doing some measuring. So I'll take you on to that and allowing for your queue space in a moment. So most commonly, pool tables are measured in feet. So we'll be talking about a seven foot table or a six foot table. And that measurement refers to the external length of the table. So this is a seven foot table that refers to this end of the table to the other end of the table. But that doesn't really matter for you working out whether you can fit it into your room. It's the play field size that's important. And on a seven foot table, the play field size is six foot by three foot. So six foot long, three foot along here. What we tend to do though, is we tend to measure now in centimetres. I find it easier to measure in centimetres. Um, it's a bit more accurate, it's easier to do. And a lot of the measurements we're given by the manufacturers all come in centimetres as well. So that's what we've got on the website. So for the table you're looking at, check our website, go to the measurement section, and it'll always tell you what the play field size is in centimetres. So this one is 183 centimetres long, by 91 centimetres wide. And that's the essential measurement that you need to know because that's what you've got to allow for for your room when you're working out whether you've got enough room to queue. Okay, so let's talk about queuing space then. So essentially there are three different sizes of, uh, of queue that you'd be looking at using. First one is a full size queue. Here we are, this is a 57 inch queue. So again, we're talking in imperial measurements there. So the important thing to do is convert that into um, metric. So it's 145 centimetres is a 57 inch queue. Here we've got a 48 inch queue, that's 122 centimetres. And here we've got a little short stumpy one, 36 inch queue, that's 91 centimetres. So make sure that you remember that those are the sizes when working out how much your queuing space is that you need. Okay, so we've talked about the different sizes of queue. We've now got to measure up to make sure we're gonna have enough room to queue around this table. So, got our measuring tape out. Remember I said, it's about the cushion tip. That's what you've got to measure for because that's where the ball's gonna be. That's where your queue's gonna be touching. So that's what you need to measure from with your tape measure. So here we go, tape measure here. And I'm going up against the wall here. And this is actually 49 inches. So I've got 125 centimeters, okay? so. As I said, generally speaking, work in the centimetre just so you know how much room you've got. This is 125. So therefore I know now, if I can get this to close, there we go. Uh, if I got my full size queue, I do not have enough room to be able to queue. You could try queuing like this, but Pele's looking like he could be in danger. So I wouldn't go using a, a, a 57 inch queue in this situation. You're gonna use a 48. Uh, and so remember, in terms of size, that's 122 centimetres. So when I measured this, it was 125, so I've, literally, I've just got enough room to be able to queue. But generally speaking, when you've got the cue ball right up against the cushion here, you won't be playing at the ball flat, purely because you're gonna end up topping the ball if you're not careful. So a lot of the time, you'll actually be lifting the cue up and taking a shot like this and queuing down on the ball which does actually give you enough room and Pele isn't in too much danger unless I'm gonna try and whack it, in which case you're probably not. If you look at how much you can draw your cue back, you're looking at maybe one and a half, two inches, you're looking to draw the cue back, but because you've got it elevated, it's giving you that additional bit of space, okay? So it's important to bear that in mind. If you are really, really tight for space, you'll be looking for every centimeter, every inch you can find, and it's certainly worth bearing that in mind 
if you are really tight for space, that you will be lifting the cue up when you're taking a shot at the cue ball and it's right up against the cushion. So the next thing to think about is allowing for furniture you've got in the room because although you could be measuring that you've got this wall, you can actually cue over this shuffleboard that we've got here. So when you're working out your spacings, you probably want to just be thinking, well, I could cue over it. You can see that this cue is actually reaching over here, but I've got ample space to cue. I just need enough room to sort of get down on the shot. And so I'm therefore allowing for the amount of space that I need to push the table a bit away from here, but I can still cue over here. So just bear that in mind. You might have a sideboard, you might have sofas that you can cue over. And certainly when taking into account the amount of space you've got, bear in mind, the furniture you've got and the height of it. If you can, if it's only this sort of height, you can certainly queue over it quite comfortably. As long as you can get down on the shot okay, you're gonna be able to fit your pool table in and not panic too much because you've got a piece of furniture too close to you. Okay, so final stage. So I've explained to you all of the theories in terms of measuring the play field size, allowing for your queue lengths, queuing over furniture. So now you've actually got to do some work. You've got to get your measuring tape out. Measure the size of your room, okay? So write it down on a bit of paper. Here's one I prepared earlier on. So for our theoretical um, space we've got here, I've written down the measurements. So Jono and I have just measured along here. It's 450 centimetres going this way. We've got 350 centimetres going this way. Um, so we've written that down. Then we've worked out from what it says on our website is the play field length here. So as I said at the beginning of the film, 183 centimetres that way, uh, 91 centimetres this way. So I've written that down here. And then we've got to allow for our cue length. So I'm quite happy playing with a 48 inch cue, okay? Um, and also my kids being a bit younger, they're quite happy playing with a 48 inch cue as well. So I've worked this out based upon the size of that cue. So I've put down there 122 centimetres because obviously I've got to allow for cue in this side 122 and I've got to allow for cue in this side. 122 centimetres uh, and I've added it together so you've got your 183 for the length of your table plus your 122 and your 122 so 244 equals 427 so I know that I need to have 427 centimetres of length available to be able to fit the table in and allow queuing space I know that I've measured it and it's 450 centimetres so happy days that fits fine that way so then for the width same thing again we know that the play field size width wise is 91 centimetres wide, then allowing for the Q lengths, 122 centimetres either side, add the 244 onto your 91, it gives you 335 centimetres, and I know I've got 350 centimetres available to me, so that's definitely going to fit in going that way as well. So happy days, I know I can fit this seven foot size table in, uh, which has got a six foot by three foot playing surface, which is 183 centimetres by 91 centimetres wide, and using a 122 centimetre cue, which is 48 inches long. It all sounds quite complicated, but hopefully you've been able to follow this, you've been able to do the same measuring system yourselves and make sure that your table that you're after will fit into the space that you've got in your house. So we've taken you through how to measure the size of the table and the size of your room. Uh, hopefully that's going to help you, but there's a couple of extra bits we can help you with as well. First of all is our Games Room Designer software. That's on our website. You'll see just underneath our main navigation bar, there's a little icon and it says Games Room Designer. Give that a click. That software is free to, for you to use. And what it does, is it enables you to basically measure out your room on the screen. And then you can drag and drop a pool table in there twist it round, put it where you want it to go and make sure it's going to fit. There's actually a tool that enables you to be able to measure the distances between the edges of the table and the walls or furniture. It's absolutely fantastic. You can put your, uh, your email address in there and, uh, and a password. You can save that and then go back to it. You can share it with friends and family. You can print it off. It's really good. So use that. That'll be a big help to you. For the data we talked about, um, that is on our website, but also on our website where it says size on all of our pool table listings, uh, there's actually a little bit of, there's like a blue link there that says, will it fit? Click on that, that takes you through to our uh, measurement guides and there are PDFs that you can download that help you work out the amount of space you need based upon the size of table you want to get and the cues that you want to be using. So that's really, really useful. Uh, have a look at that, that will help you. And thirdly, if, if none of that's any good, you want us to do it all for you, 
Either give us a call, we'll talk it through with you over the phone, or some customers come down with their room measurements and we do a games room designer for them uh, in the showroom here. So if you're actually looking to fit a few pieces in, maybe you want to get a jukebox arcade machine as well as a pool table, we can do it all in games room designer for you. Again, we can save it, print it off for you. You can access it from home and it's a really big help. So hopefully that will be able to cure any fears you've got about being able to make sure that your pool table is going to fit into the space that you've got. <laughs>